In 2011, Jai Opataya became the junior light heavyweight champion of the world. The following year, aged 16, he qualified for the London Olympics as Australia's youngest ever fighter. Today, the 18-year-old heavyweight champ of Oceania is preparing for the Commonwealth Games. Jai's progression in the sport has been overseen by his father and trainer, Tapu. Dedication. Uh, it's a hard sport. It's not for everybody. Uh, it's all fun and games until you actually get hit in the face and get physical. That changes the whole game, so what you put in it is what you get out of it. On his dad's side, Jai is a fourth generation boxer. On his mother's, he's a third generation. Based in the town of Wyong, over an hour's drive north of Sydney, Jai began his fighting career as a kickboxer before turning to the sweet science at 14, the earliest age allowed in the state of New South Wales. Southport Jai has had over 100 amateur fights. Boxing was just always in my life. I grew up when my dad was training, I was like swinging on the bags. It was just a matter of time before I put the gloves on and started hitting them. It's the only goal I've ever had in my life, you know. Even when I was at school, you know, they asked me, like when I was like in your primary school, they asked me what I want to be. I was just like always a boxer, you know. So I just grew up around it. I think that's why I love it so much is because it's passed down through so much of my family and I just, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I carry the name through. The upper tires work out of a former dairy farm in Wyong. The one-time milk factory has been transformed into a state-of-the-art boxing and fitness facility and is used by a number of professional and national sporting outfits. Hayden Knowles is Jai's strength and conditioning coach and manager. He's worked with Jai for the past five years. There's some famous father-son combinations in the world and I think we're going to see one with, with Jai and his father tap. The complete boxer, everything comes from the ground up. They're very balanced, very agile and Jai has that naturally about him but now as he's growing, getting stronger, we're trying to get him more powerful as well. So the more powerful we can get down here, it's going to end up with more power in his punch. So as he develops and as he grows older and eventually when he turns pro, he's going to be a very, very powerful athlete. Although he competes for Australia, Jai Opataya is of Samoan descent through his father. At fights he flies both flags and is seen as a role model for fellow Pacific Islanders. Somebody who knows the teenager better than most is his best friend and fellow boxer, Will Smeer. His speed, his footwork, you know, he's, it's more his commitment, he's got massive heart, you know, he won't stop coming all day, he's just, he's a whole package man, like good boxer, slick, you want to stand there and brawl, he'll brawl with you too, he's good. Age means nothing, it's just dedication, hard work, you know, you got to want it that bad, so, and Jai does want it that bad. After a typical workout session, the upper tyres head to a local bistro, where Jai's mum works. Sporting genes are in this family's blood, as well as their respective boxing dynasties, two uncles on Jai's mother's side are former kickboxing world champions, and his cousin is soccer player Tim Cahill. At the 2012 Olympics, Jai became the youngest ever Australian boxer to compete at the Games. Oh, the London Olympics was just a dream come true, eh? Like, but being so young, you know, like, I qualified at 16 and then I just got like, I just turned 17 when I walked into the village and being so young, seeing all these big names, like just getting given your gear to represent your country, fighting in that green and gold, like there's just no experience like that, I have never felt it before. In London, Jai drew the then top ranked fighter, Taymor Mamadov in the first round. The Azerbaijani fighter, who went on to win a bronze medal, provided a stern test. But the young Australian acquitted himself admirably, gamely taking the fight to his more experienced opponent. Mate, that was exciting. It was, um, it was unreal, actually. Um, people, uh, they train for years to go to Olympic Games, like four years or eight years or whatever. They, 
it took us six months to get there. And his, his, his age was, was unbelievable. Just few, few, pure talent, I think. He's 17, walking in the ring in front of billions of people. And I was nervous for him. It was a kind of goosebump, but a good nerves, you know. And uh, But then he just enjoys what he does, you know. So, But yeah, fighting is one of those things. You're always nervous for them, but, uh, but it's an enjoyable one. The contest ended in heartbreak for Jai. The judges handed the fight to Mamadov by just one point. The pair were tied at 9-all heading into the third and final round. And although it ended 12-11, Jai took a huge amount of plaudits for his performance. Making my family proud, you know, just um, making it to the Olympic Games. And my granddad, you know, one of my massive idols, he's just just so happy for me. And I was just, it just felt good to make them happy, you know, that. Not so much myself, but to do it for them and just make someone else so happy and excited. It was just an awesome feeling. Jai currently lives at home with mum and dad. Dad Tapu is a former super heavyweight national champion. He began coaching boxers after damaging a knee in a car accident. The Apatayas are a very close-knit family. Family's very important to us. Being a uh, Samoan heritage and, um, yeah, family plays a main part of it. My parents and our cousins and our nephews and we're very close and, yeah, it keeps us grounded or keeps them grounded as well. Best friend Willis Meehan is also from a family of fighters and, like Jai, has his father as his coach too. In fact, the two dads trained together in New Zealand before they both moved to Australia. Like Jai, Willis finds it hard watching members of his family and his friends in the ring. Man, I feel like I'm in there fighting, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get heaps nervous and... I don't know, I start screaming, probably making all these weird faces. <laughs> I'd rather get punched in the face than watch, you know, people I love get punched in the face. It's scary yeah. stuff. I don't know how to explain it. It's just tough watching, you know, people you love in the ring. Having grown up together, Willis and Jai have been able to support and share in each other's sporting success. Willis is the current Australian amateur super heavyweight champion and is also on the books of National Rugby League Club, the Sydney Roosters, drawing comparisons to Sonny Bill Williams. Yeah, it does help to have friends around me, you know, like when I'm in the gym, you know, and then when I'm not training, it's good to just, you know, relax, you know, play a game, spend time with my girlfriend or, you know, my, Willis is, you know, one of my close mates and he also boxes, so it's good to sort of like share the experience. Next up for both Willis and Jai are the Commonwealth Games, which will take place in Scotland later this year. And beyond that, the duo are already harbouring dreams of glory at the 2016 Olympics, which will take place in the Brazilian city of Rio de Janeiro. You know what I mean? I'm like family, you know, we grew up together, we do everything together. We muck around, we get in trouble together. <laughs> But yeah, it's all right. We've come a long way, both of us. It's always been our dream since we we're young. You know, travel together, fight together all over the world. They have to keep us in line. Hopefully, our dads will both be here. I kind of classify him as a friend. You know, he's family to me, and like I said before, family's everything. So, you know, whatever steps he takes in the future, man, I'm happy for him, man. He's my like a brother to me, and um, yeah, and I'm sure he's happy for me as well. You know, so it's awesome. Jai counts former world champions Evander Holyfield, Pernell Whitaker, and Roy Jones Jr. as some of his favorite fighters. He admires their speed and agility around the ring and hopes he can go on to emulate their success in the sport. I really believe he can be Olympic champion before he turns pro. When he's pro, if Australia could have a heavyweight world champion one day, that would put boxing back on the map. It would really put it on the map. And he's got that charisma that heavyweight boxing's kind of starving for, I, I believe. He's a really good boxer, and he's got a passion for it. 
Um, so if we keep them grounded and have a good structure and a good team, I think anything's possible. Oh, he can achieve whatever he wants to achieve. He's, it's all there, it's in front of him, you know. Just depends what he does with it. I know he's going to do well, you know. From the boy who won the Junior Worlds at his first overseas competition to the man who carries the hopes of two nations in the forthcoming years, there's still one ambition which underpins Jai Opataya's career. Just, you know, probably just make money for my mum, you know, just buy a house on the beach or something. One of those, you know, she's worked her whole life for us, so just reward her. Yeah, that'd be awesome.